This video explains linear combinations in space R2. So you can imagine space R2 is uh, the xy coordinate as a two-dimensional space. Let's look at the unit vector 0, 1 and 1, 0 in space R2. If you multiply first unit vector to 1 and you multiply the second unit vector to 1 and you add these two new vectors you will get 1 1 as the sum vectors of these two vectors with constants 1 and 1 okay let's use the same pair of unit vectors but this time you multiply the first unit vectors by 3 and the second unit vectors by 4 and you add the two new vectors you will get a vector 3 over 4. Geometrically, the vectors 1, 1 is actually this vector. It's the sum of these two vectors, 1, 1. And the vectors 3, 4 is, can be shown using this blue, these two blue vectors. And the sum of these two blue vectors is this vector. So 3, 4 is this vector. And this vectors, blue vectors, is 3 times the unit vectors. And this blue vectors is actually is 4 times this unit vectors. So this vectors 1, 1 and 3, 4 are the sum of these two vectors after scaling. Okay? And you can see that these two new vectors are just two vectors on the same space R2. So by the definitions, this vector 1, 1 is a linear combination of these two vectors 1, 0 and 0, 1 with scalars of 1 and 1. And also, the vector 3, 4 is another linear combination of the two vectors 1, 0 and 0, 1 with scalars 3 and 4. Now we go to uh, space R3. It's a three-dimensional space, and you can consider the space as an x, y, z coordinate. Okay. Let's start with two vectors in R3. 2, 3, 4, negative 1, 1, and 2. And look, you can look at this graph here. The green vectors is the second vectors, and the black vectors is the first vectors in R3. Okay. Now, if you multiply the black vectors by 2, and you subtract the green vector, you get a new vector B, still in R2, with the coordinates of 5, 5, and 6. B now, you can be written as in terms of combination, linear combinations of A1 and A2, because B is actually equals 2 times A1 and minus A2. By the definitions, B is a linear combination of A1 and A2, with constants 2 and negative 1. You can use constants or scalars, which have the same meaning. Okay. Now we look at the graph. What is the vector B? So vector B is a linear combination of A1 and A2, and B is actually a vector that is housed in the plane that contain the two vectors a1 and a2. So if you use the two vectors a1 and a2, you can find the plane that contains these two vectors. And b is a linear combination of a1, a2. So b is just a vector that is in the same plane that contains a1 and a2.